Let's make a cocktail with Trader Joe's products. This is the brown sugar boba, a whiskey, and hojicha milk punch. Today we're using Trader Joe's non-dairy oat creamer brown sugar flavor. I'm going to use this as a sweetener and a clarifying medium. In order to curdle and clarify, we need a small amount of acid in the form of lemon juice. We're adding some creme de cacao to go with the brown sugar, and some hojicha, which further bolsters the caramel and chocolate notes while adding a bit of nuttiness. As far as the spirit goes, I wanted bourbon for the vanilla and oak notes, but since it can be a bully, I split the base with Japanese whiskey. Okay, on to the star of the show. Trader Joe's non-dairy oat creamer brown sugar flavor. This goes into a separate vessel, and then we pour our cocktail mix over the creamer. Something cool that I notice is that the separation happens rapidly. This is a time lapse of 10 minutes, and you can see the curds start to split and rise pretty quickly. We're not filtering out too much sediment from the drink, just the lemon and curds, so I'm opting for a coffee filter over an oil filter. Usually, I get a lot of clogging, but not this time. And after a moment, we get this pristine, clear milk tea. Bottle that, store this in the freezer, and when you're ready to pregame for a or Keshi, add three ounces of the brown sugar boba to the glass and top it off with some boba as a little 